speaking of this world, uh, South Carolina, not so good. Uh, death row executions by firing squad can now be carried out in South Carolina. Um, so again, reminder, everybody, the death penalty is stupid. Um, just on its face, the fact that there's a margin of error alone proves that the death penalty is stupid. If, if 7% of people on death row are innocent or whatever the statistic is now, um, that's a problem, right? That alone is disqualifying. But let's assume, all right, there is no margin of error. Killing people is still pretty stupid. Uh, but then we get, like, the ways that people kill people with the death penalty. Um, and so, and this is what's really, like, they develop these, like, like, because they don't like to shoot them in the head. Right, it's like, oh, it's a little icky or whatever. They come up, now, what is the firing squad? Think about it. Why don't you just get one single revolver and point it at their fucking brain and just blow their brains out? Well then, oh, oh, then I have to live with the trauma. Oh no, oh, so we'll, we'll pay five people to shoot at them. And that way we don't know which one actually killed them. I can go around and I can pretend it was those other guys that killed them. No, motherfucker, it's so stupid. But then, and then, we've got this stupid ass, like, this is what they've been doing in a lot of these states, is they've been making these, like, drug cocktails, where they give you, like, all kinds of fucking stupid ass drugs, and then you die. Um, like, but it, it, they've been fucking them up, right? Because they've been, for whatever reason, they outsourced this or whatever, so they would get it from other countries, and then other countries are like, yo, death penalty is fucking stupid. We're not making this drug anymore. What the fuck? And then America's like, oh, no! Whoa! Right? And then they make their own drug <laughs> cocktail. And then, like, it sets people on fire or something. Like, you know, not, like, actual physical fire. But it makes their, like, entire, like, brain, like, produce, like, like you know, similar pain as if they were on fire. Right? And then, like, they have these, like, they will vomit and convulse for, like, hours or whatever. Right? Again, this goes, like, okay, we have a policy that involves killing people. Why are we importing this stupid drug bullshit? We have more than enough guns. Get a revolver. Load the revolver. I don't know, maybe hang them. I don't even need a gun, right? Just hang them in the public square. If this is what we're going to be doing, we should be marketing this. This should be on public television. Live. Executions. 9 p.m. Pay-per-view. Right? Like, again, if we're going to be executing, we've decided as a culture, as a society, that we are going to murder people if they're a little bad. And by the way, there's a 7% chance they're innocent, whatever the number is. I don't remember. Someone fact check me, right? Like, what if that, like, oh, like, what if you could place bets on this? Let's get the fucking audience involved. Let's place bets. Oh, you think this poor little bastard getting hanged in the public fucking square is innocent? What do you think? There's going to be an investigation. We'll do a 60 minutes post interview and then they'll figure out if you won or not. Again, this is, I'm in favor of this. I just want to say, fuck the cocktail bullshit. Fuck the drugs that make you fucking like spontaneously combust fuck the firing squad let's go back to the revolver let's go back to the like let's burn them alive like let's crucify these motherfuckers like jesus goddamn christ right if we've decided as a society it's okay to kill people right if that's fine now let's at least like take advantage of it let's let everyone know oh yeah by the way the government just executes people this should be like you know like when you're watching tv or whatever you're watching your favorite soap opera and then all of a sudden joe fuckface biden's on the television he's talking to you about oh there's gas prices on covid again and then like you know like, i don't know man i'm trying to see what the fuck's going on in goddamn right so but they should do that with the executions that's what they should do up oh, the u.s government just executed someone again everyone needs to know let's all watch right uncensored live on television and by the way you can bet on it right you know i'm just saying because too many people they oh they like you know they like you know when they watch the executions you know with the electric chair or the fucking cocktail bullshit right you know what they would do they would put it behind a glass window yeah that's right so that it looks like you're watching television you go in there and you watch the executions through a glass window it's like a screen it's like a play it's not real like you're depersonalized you're out of the experience no 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 i say make it jury duty that's what i say Fuck it. Let this country suffer for the fucking sins of the collective. Let's make it jury duty. You get randomly selected to pull the trigger. Then you gotta live with the fucking trauma and consequences of being a fucking murderer because you support this stupid-ass death penalty policy. Right? Let's make it. 
Everyone randomly, you get the fucking guys that knock on your door and say, all right, you're up. They give you the gun. They tell you where to go and you got to shoot the motherfucker. Anyway, let's actually read the article. South Carolina is now prepared to perform executions by firing squad. The state's Department of Corrections announced Friday. The state uh, said it spent $53,000 in renovations to the Capital Punishment Facility. $53,000 in renovations? What fucking renovations? Go take them to the fucking abandoned parking lot where the mall used to be that got shut down during the pandemic and go fucking shoot them in the fucking parking lot. You don't need $53,000 of renovations to your fucking facility. Like, what the fuck is this facility? You need a whole building to do what you can do with one train track? Come on, motherfucker. The state's Department of Corrections said protocols have been written and the department is ready to carry out an order of execution by fires. All of the inmates have method. This remains an extremely rare method of execution. Only Mississippi and Oklahoma and Utah offer firing squad as an option to death row inmates. Since 1976, three people were executed by firing squad. In 2021, South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster signed a bill forcing death row inmates to choose the manner of their execution, either by firing squad or electric chair if the drugs to provide a lethal injection are unavailable. You know what? If I'm ever on death row, I want you to give me like 80 grams of magic mushrooms. Let me see like, you know, the fucking aliens in the fucking eighth dimension, and then I want you to shoot my fucking brains out like four hours in. I think that would be interesting. If I'm allowed, if I'm ever allowed to choose my method of execution, that's my choice, okay? So I'm just getting that out there, getting that, you know, put that in my will somewhere. I guess a will is, I, I don't know. Some, I'm going to put that in my medical records. Lethal injection is still the preferred and primary method of execution in states that have the death penalty, but in recent years, state officials have had difficulties obtaining lethal injection drugs. How does that make any sense? Aren't they seizing fentanyl at the border? Like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just like... Like, if, if, like, one gram of fentanyl is enough to fucking kill somebody, and they're seizing pounds of fentanyl at the border, why the fuck, why, what is this lethal injection drug? Just give this motherfucker some fentanyl, let them fall the fuck asleep. What is this, like, weird bullshit going on where you need to have all the drugs, and they're so different, and they need to be just right, and, like, why do you, like, what the fuck? It's very easy to kill a motherfucker. In fact, honestly, it's a little too easy, and I think about it all the time. Like, when I'm walking on the sidewalk, right, if I just, like, fell over and rolled into the street, I'd be dead. Like, if I just walked, like, two feet to the left, I'd be dead. Yes. Maybe sometimes I have intrusive thoughts. I don't know about that. Anyway, uh, also, what the fuck, right? Like, <laughs> counterpoint, what the fuck? I don't know. This is crazy. Uh, but anyway, I'm in favor of the firing squad. If we are going to execute motherfuckers, uh, in my opinion, uh, we should we should make a draft, like jury duty. Uh, maybe if you answer yes in a poll, like if you support the death penalty and answer yes in a poll, then we'll, we'll go from that list, right? You know, because if you don't support the death penalty, that's fine. But then wait, whoa, whoa. If you did that, maybe support where the death penalty would actually fucking plummet, right? So you, like, you say, yeah, I support the death penalty. What if it was your mama that was god dang, god dang? Right? All right. All right, chump. Here's the fucking shotgun. There's their fucking neck. Go have at it. Have fun. Go to the parking lot by the, where the fucking goddamn, like, fucking, I don't know, like, Radio Shack and Blockbuster used to be. Go to that parking lot and fucking kill this motherfucker. Right? I don't know, man. I'm just saying, this country is fucking... You're, we're spending $50,000 on a fucking facility to fucking do what you can do with, like, fucking... Like, I don't know. You can kill someone with a fucking fork. And we need to spend 53000 fucking dollars on the fucking facility. How stupid is this, man? How dumb is this? Seriously. Like, this is what the other fucking raw irony is for this death penalty bullshit and how the government tries to fucking do it is it's like we end up spending more money killing people than if we just put them in life in prison like the process of determining death row eligibility and all these stupid drugs and these facilities and all the fucking costs and all that right one i mean hey again if you want to have the death penalty as a as a way to balance the budget all right Use the fucking shotgun. Tie him to the fucking train tracks or something. Tie him, you know, make the trolley problem. I don't know. I'm just saying, man, the way that this government, like, handles this shit is ridiculous. It is so ludicrous. It is so silly. Um, and in my opinion, again, if we're going to be killing people, we should do it in the most, uh, you know, firing squad, you know, Make them hang them in the public square, right? Everyone get like take a free vacation day, right? Everyone paid for mandatory. Go to the public square, watch the execution, and if you don't go, make it like compulsory, right? Like with voting in Australia, make it fucking compulsory. Everyone's got to go to the public square and watch the poor little bastard get executed, and then you got to go fill out the form. Do you still support the death penalty? Yes or no? 
All right, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And then also, we pick 10 people out of the crowd that clean up the guts, clean up the blood, have to move the body. We don't have coroners in this society. Pick 10 people out of the crowd at random. Lottery, right? Fuck it, you know? And then they have to bring the fucking body to the nearest river, toss them in, right? Because, again, we are too far detached. This is, like, the same thing with fucking war. Is like, these motherfuckers are too far detached from what these things actually are and what they mean, right? This is the same thing with, like, homelessness and, like, you know, like, the food problems in this country. Like, clean water, clean air, right? Like, we're all too far detached from the consequences of our actions. We're feeding people fucking sugar, lead in the water, fucking lead in the gas, lead in the air, lead in the paint, lead, 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 and then dead, motherfucker. And people don't even know. They don't care. Like, again, look at speed limit. Oh, I gotta get down to the goddamn market. I gotta go get my mind up. Oh, what the fuck is a speed limit? Think about this. We have decided, right? Like the idea that the speed limit is above like five miles per hour, right? Or 10 miles per hour really means that people are going to die. We have, as a society have decided, you know what? I want to run down the highway at 70 miles per hour. And yeah, that's going to result in 500 deaths per year, 1000 deaths per year, whatever the statistic is, 20,000 deaths per year in traffic accidents because these cars are going so fucking fast, right? We have a bunch of dumb motherfuckers driving these cars, but that's a whole separate thing. But yeah, we've just decided, you know what? Yeah, I need to get to work. So it's okay to kill 10,000 people a year with these speed limit increases. Like, think about that. Like, as a society, we are so far detached from the consequences of our fucking actions, right? Like, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. And I say, you know what? We need to be right up close and personal with the consequences of our actions. In my opinion, we should be flying American citizens lottery fly them to like iraq and show them what the fuck their government did to this fucking poor country fly them to afghanistan show them what the fuck this government did to that fucking country right fly them all around the fucking world right and show this is america the greatest country in the world this is what your fucking country did to these other fucking people and these other civilizations we need to know what the fuck we're i'm i'm, I'm going a little crazy anyway uh firing squad uh there you go you fired